Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. yeah. Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hebrews are coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. We ain't playing, yeah. Standing on these corners, yeah. We taking games, yeah. Put them in the Bible, yeah. Ezekiel 37, great and seated on me, yeah. Come see what we about. We'll change it out. We moving out. You my battle life. And what was the war? What you waiting here for? Come see what the hell you're facing. With D, he'll break the nation. Sounds like a little revelation. All, right, all praises, all praises. Hey, first off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shah, right? If you don't know what we out here for, we out here for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to let you know that we are the real Jews and Israelites according to the Bible, right? So let me get Jeremiah 17 and 4, right? We go, let me get Jeremiah 17 and 4. And when you get there, hold that and go to uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 2. 1 Corinthians 12 and 2. Yeah, let me know when you get that, right? Yeah, Jeremiah first. Come, bring that up. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17. Verse. What verse again? Verse 4. Verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Right? So we are here to let our people know that they have been discontinued from their heritage. Right? So the Bible gives you a clear description of God's chosen people. Right? The Lord said his chosen people will be discontinued from their heritage. What race of people on the earth is discontinued from their heritage? Right? Who is this talking about? Is the so-called Arabs discontinued from their heritage? Right? Is the so-called Chinese and the Asians, are they discontinued from their heritage? Right? All these other nations know their homeland. All these other nations know their native language. All these other nations know the emperors and the history of their people. They can tell you about all the ancient dynasties that ruled in their countries. They can tell you about all the kings and the emperors that ruled in their nation, right? But what race of people on the earth have been discontinued from their heritage, right? Read, read that again from the top. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse four. Right. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. For the Lord said his chosen people will be discontinued from their heritage. That's right. right? And we are here to let our people know the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that in these last days our people have been discontinued from their heritage. Right? If you ask a so-called black man what's his nationality, he go tell you he black. Right? The color out of crayon box. Right? But what land goes back to black? Right. What language goes back to black? We right, we're ancient, we're ancient history goes back to black. Right. right. If I'm Chinese, I have my own Chinese language and I can go back to the land of China. If I'm Japanese, I have my own language and I can go back to the land of Japan. If I'm black, what country and what language do I go back to? Right. What heritage and what customs do I go back to? Right. So we have to wake our people up in these last days because our people have been uh, tricked into following after the ways of these other nations, right? So read that again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. That what? That I gave thee. The Lord said that he gave his chosen people a heritage, right? Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. So the Lord said his chosen people will discontinue from their heritage and they will serve their enemies. What race of people on the earth is serving their enemies? Is the so-called white man serving his enemy? No. Right? Are the Asians serving their enemies? No. Right? Do the Arabs serve the same people that put them in slavery and stripped them from their heritage? Uh -huh. Right? Do the Asians, do they serve the same people that rape robbed and murdered them and put them into captivity? What race of people is serving their enemies in 2023, right? What race of people is living in the ghettos and the slums and have to pay taxes and have to pay rent and have to pay a car note to the same people that continue to rape, rob, and murder them? Who is that talking about, right? Read on. 
And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies right. in the land that which thou knowest not. Right. And this is a land that we know not. This is a land that we were kidnapped and brought to and forced to work slavery. Right? You see that? <laughs> Read on. Disgusting. Sorry. Excuse us. In the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. Our people have kindled a fire in the Most High's anger. That's why we the only nation of people right in America that's going through trials and tribulations. Right? That's at a lower state, right? That's being no piss, right. right? That's only happening to one nation of people, right? And to that, and until that one nation of people wake up and come back to the the knowledge of their true history, then these things gonna continue to happen, right? Right? So that was it on that. Let me get uh second uh First Corinthians twelve and two, and when you get there, hold that, and let me get uh Psalm ninety six and verse five, right? Let me get Psalm ninety six and verse five, right? So bring it out. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, and verse 2. Bring it out. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Wait a minute. The Lord said what? That ye were Gentiles. According to the Bible, the Lord said there's a nation of people that were Gentiles, right? Right? How y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all got two minutes? Y'all got two minutes for a couple of scriptures? Come on, sister. I know you got two minutes. Two minutes, brother. All praises. All praises. All praises. Right? So y'all say y'all love God, right? Y'all believe in the Bible, right? So let me ask you a question. According to the Bible, what would be our nationality? A Hebrew, right? So y'all know that, right? But you got to get more specific, though, right? Because you had a lot of different people that could claim to be Hebrews, but hold on. We, we go. So who? So what, what would be our, our ethnicity? Right, right, that's right. So Christ was a Jew, right? So I'm asking y'all, who would be your nationality? If I ask you your nationality, what would you tell me? African American, right? But you just said that you was a Hebrew though. Right. So so which one is it? Are you a Hebrew or are you an African American? Uh, they're the same thing. They're the same thing. I mean not necessarily because whatever, whatever Christ okay, I like that. I like that answer. Whatever Christ is, right? So you say, well, okay, what would Christ, what would he, uh, his nationality be? Honestly, I don't know. You don't know? His, his father made him who he is to be. Okay. Okay, so let me get uh, Hebrews 7 to 14. Let me get Hebrews 7 to 14. So you, we're going to show you Christ's uh, nationality according to the Bible. Right? And then we're going to show you your nationality according to the Bible. So let me get Hebrews 7 to 14. Bring that out. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord. Who is our Lord? God. God, but who Jesus is this? Christ. Jesus Christ, right? Read. That our Lord spoke out, out of Judah. Judah. Out of what? Out, out of Judah. Judah. According to the Bible, the Lord said that Christ descended from the tribe of Judah, which was one of the tribes of the children of Israel, right? Because remember, Christ is a, a descendant of King David, right? And King David came from the tribe of Judah, right? So we tell you that Christ came from the tribe of Judah, right? So let me get Deuteronomy 20, uh, 29 and verse 1, right? Because you said that whatever Christ's nationality is, you said that would be your nationality, right? And you're absolutely correct. And we're going to prove that to you according to the Bible. 29 and 1, bring that out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 1. Bring it out. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. With the who? With the children of Israel. According to the Bible, the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel, right? So give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. So let's see what the Lord told the children of Israel, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. To do what? To do all his commandments. So, during this covenant that the Lord made with the children of Israel, he gave them two options, right? He said, if you keep my commandments, I'm going to bring blessings to you. But if you break my commandments, what's going to happen? To observe to do all 
his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, if you keep my commandments, I'm going to bless you as a nation, but if you break my commandments, I'm going to curse you as a nation, right? Let me get verse 46. Let me get verse 46, right? Verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Wait, what? For a sign. The Lord said the curses in the Bible are going to be upon the children of Israel for a sign. Read. Right. Okay. We're going to give you a couple more, right? It. We're going to give you just a couple more. Upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So the Lord said that he would put curses upon the children of Israel for a sign. So when you read the curses in the Bible, you can identify the children of Israel because they're going to be the only race of people on the planet that fit the curses, right? So we're going to show you one curse because I know you got to go, all right? So somebody got a card for the sister? Yeah, I got flies. All right, make sure she get a card. We're going to give this last curse, uh, verse 68. So let me ask you a question. As so-called black people, right, how did we get here to America? How did we get here to America? Yeah. You don't know? Have you ever heard of the transatlantic slave trade? Yeah. Right? So how did we get from the west coast of Africa to America? How did that happen? Both, right? So we're going to show you this in the Bible. This is the last one, I promise. Okay, okay. One last one. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord told the Israelites he was going to bring them back into Egypt. So what was the Israelites doing in Egypt during the time of Moses? They were slaves, right? Remember, the Lord told Moses to go to the Pharaoh, and he said, tell him to let my people go, right? Because there was a slavery. So the Lord is telling the Israelites, if you don't keep all of my commandments, I'm going to bring you back into slavery. Read. Again, with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. You hear that part, sister? The Lord told the Israelites, for breaking the commandments, he was going to bring them back into slavery with what? Ships. So how did we get to America? On ships. So if we look at any race of people on the planet Earth, who does that fit? Does that fit everybody? Just that one curse alone. Who does that fit? Us, right? So as so-called black people, right? So if the Lord said that would happen to the children of Israel and that fit our people, who would that make us according to the Bible? If that happened to the children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? If God said that the Israelites would go into slavery on slave ships, and we went into slavery on slave ships, who would that make us according to the Bible? We would have to be the who? All right, so I'm, I'm going to say it again. If God said, hold on, he, he tried to cheat. So if God said that, okay, uh, even though they cheated, we'll give him a hand for that. We'll give him a hand for that. All right? So the main message is, right, God put curses on our people for doing what? For sinning, for breaking the commandments. So in order to get these curses off of our people, what, do we, what, what should we start doing? Well, that's good, but we got it's more than 10 commandments though, right? So that's good, we gotta follow the commandments, all right? So we ain't gonna hold you up. Uh, we got a QR code on the back of that card. If you scan that, it'll take you to our YouTube channel, all right? All right, and we also, we got a school out here in Raleigh too. And we got all our information on that card, all right? Thank so we ain't gonna hold you up. Y'all be safe out here, all right? Thank you. All praises. Give them a hand for listening to the words of the Lord. All praises. All praises. <laughs> all praises. Hey, you gotta be, you gotta be um, wise as a serpent, harmless, harmless as a dove. Come. Right? You gotta use wisdom, right? Because she was listening, you see what I'm saying? That's right. So if, if we can sit here and teach the sister and she get that information, hey, that's all that's all that matters. Right. If we can get one out of three, that's all that matters. Right. Right? So sometimes you gotta, you know what I'm saying, you gotta hold yourself back just to catch that one fish. Come. Right? You gotta use wisdom in these last days, right? So let me get um Yeah, it's tough, but hey, at the end of the day we're trying to wake up the Lord the Lord's sheep. That's right. Right? So Hey, if sometimes we gotta hold back our, our attitude. Like right? we got we gotta hold ourselves back sometimes. That's what we gotta do. Right? We can't we can't always be a roaring lion. We gotta use wisdom, man. <laughs> right? So let me get back to that first Corinthians twelve and two. The book of first Corinthians chapter twelve and verse two. 
Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Right, so the Lord said that his chosen people, right, were Gentiles, right? Because a lot of people get tripped up, uh, tripped up on that, right? right? Remember last week we were dealing with that one sister that was getting confused with the Gentiles and right. stuff, right? So we're going to break this down for the people, right? So read that again from the top. So Paul said in one of his letters, he said that there's a people that were Gentiles, right? The word were is past tense, right? So how can the people, when you go into that word Gentiles, if Gentiles only mean uh, a nation outside of Israel, how could that nation used to be a Gentile if they're already a Gentile? Right. Right? That don't make sense. So we got to break it down for our people. So read that. Ye know that ye were Gentile. So Paul is speaking to the church at Corinth, and he's telling these people that ye were Gentiles, right? You see that? So if I'm of another nation, how can I used to be another nation? Right. If I'm Chinese, how can I used to be Chinese? That's like saying, oh, you you were Chinese, but that don't make sense. Right. I can't well, I can't change my bloodline. I can't I can't change my ethnicity. Right. Right. Even when you go into the Bible dictionary, it tells you that word Gentiles, it usually means a non-Israelite people. That's right. But when you go into that word usually, it just means most of the times, right, but not all the time. Right. So depending on the context, a Gentile can be an actual heathen of another nation, or in some contexts, a Gentile can be an Israelite, right? So we're going to find out. What Gentile is Paul writing to in the book of Corinthians? Read that. Ye, well, ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away. So the so Paul said that ye were Gentiles, right? Right? So we're going to prove to our people that this is talking about the Israelites. Read. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. The Lord said, and you still got that in Psalm uh, 95, uh, 96 and 5, right? So we got to pay attention to the context. So Paul's telling these people that they were Gentiles and they were carried away unto these dumb idols, right? So we're going to prove to you that Gentiles is not always talking about another nation, right? Because right? How can the Gentiles of another nation be carried away unto dumb idols, right. right? That's a clue right there to tell you that that's not talking about the other nations. And we're going to prove that to you. Bring that out. The book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 5. Bring it out. For all the gods of the nations. So the Lord said, for all the gods of the nations or of all the heathen nations outside of Israel are what? Are idols. Are what? Are idols. Are what? Are idols. Wait a minute. But Paul just said in Corinthians, he said the Gentiles that he was speaking to were carried away unto dumb idols. But the Lord just said the gods of the other nations are idols. So if you read it in context, that can't be talking about a heathen nation because the heathen nations already worship idols. Right. So how can I be carried away unto a dumb idol if I'm if I already worship idols? Right? If I'm so called Chinese and I already worship Buddha, how can I be carried away into an idol when I already worship an idol? Right. If I'm so called East Indian and I worship uh, Krishna and Shiva, how can I be carried away into a dumb idol if I already worship idols? Right. That don't make sense. Make so that's telling you that those uh, Gentiles are talking about the Israelites. And we're going to prove that to you. Right? We're going to break it down. Let me get Hosea 4 and 16. Let me get Hosea 4 and 16. Right? So that's not talking about the heathen nations because the heathen nations already worship idols. Right? So let me get Hosea 4 and 16. And when you get that. When you get to hold that and go to uh, 2 Corinthians 24 and 18. Right? 2 Corinthians 24 and 18. 2 Corinthians. But let me get Hosea uh, 4 and 16. Right? Uh, Chronicles 24 and 16. Right? Chronicles 24 and 16. Second Chronicles 
<laughs> it's all good. Right? So we prove to our people that the Gentiles that Paul was writing to are actually Israelites and not other nations. Right. Right? Come. All right, so bring that out, Hosea. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 15. 16. 16. For Israel slideth back. For who? Israel. Who? Israel. The Lord said Israel, right? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. For Israel slideth back as a backsliding heifer. Now the Lord will feed them as a lamb in a large place. Ephraim. Who? Ephraim. Who? Ephraim. It said Ephraim, which is the head of the northern kingdom, right? So Ephraim represents the head of the northern kingdom, right? Read. Ephraim is joined to idol. Wait, the Lord said what? Ephraim is joined to idol. The Lord said Ephraim is joined unto idols, right? So who are the Gentiles that Paul is talking to in 1 Corinthians? Those same Gentiles that was carried away unto dumb idols, right. right? That's not talking about the other nations, because we just read a song that the other nations already worship idols, right? But we just read that the Israelites, it said Ephraim in the northern kingdom, they were, read that part again? Joined to idols. They were what? Joined to idols. They were joined unto idols, right? When you read the books of the kings, it tell you that Jeroboam, which was an Ephraimite, right? He made the golden calves, and he made Israel to uh, worship the golden calves, right? And Israel went off into idolatry, right? So the Lord said the northern kingdom of Israel were joined unto idols, right? So, you know, Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. The Lord said what? Let him alone. Right, so let me get go to that in uh, Second Chronicles, right? So we trying to figure out who Paul is writing to in the book of 1 Corinthians. So we just showed you according to the scriptures that those Gentiles are talking about the where well, we got the northern kingdom of Israel, but now we're finna show you that that's talking about the southern kingdom as well. Read that. The book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 24, verse 19. Yet he sent prophets to them. Verse 18. Verse 18. And they left the house of the Lord God. They did what? They left the house of the Lord, God of their fathers. So the Lord said his chosen people left the house of the Lord God their fathers, right? Read. God of their fathers and served groves and idols. And did what? Served groves and idols. So he said that they served groves and idols, right? There it go again. They left the house of the Lord. That means they stopped keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and they started to go into idolatry. So let's see who this is talking about. Read that. And served groves and idols. And wrath came upon Judah. Came upon who? Came upon Judah. We just read in the book of Hosea, the Lord said Ephraim and the northern kingdom was joined unto idols. Now he's saying that Judah, which represents the southern kingdom, they also was joined unto idols. Read. And wrath came upon Judah. And what? And Judah and Jerusalem. So the Lord said, and wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem. Right? So every time our nation went into idolatry, the Lord sent the other nations to put us in captivity, right? right? right. When the northern kingdom went off, the Lord sent the Assyrians in, seven, in 722 BC to put them into captivity, right? Right. And then the Lord sent the Babylonians to uh, capture the southern kingdom, right? During the time of Nebuchadnezzar, read. For this, their trespass. For this, their what? Their trespass. Right, so we showing you Right, so we show you that the Gentiles that Paul is talking to are the Israelites, right? That was drawn unto dumb idols, right? And we just prove that to you. That's talking about the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Right. Read. Yet he sent prophets. To yeah, he did what? Yet he sent prophets. What are we? Do? Yet he sent prophets. And the Lord said he sent prophets unto his people in these last days, right? Right. And let me ask you a question, brother. You believe in the Bible? I do. You do? What's your nationality? Car oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Read that again from the top. The book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 24, verse 19. Bring it out. Yet he sent prophets to them. He did what? He sent prophets to them. So the Lord sent prophets to his people in these last days to wake up our people, right? Because our people are in the destroyed mind state, right? Our people don't know their true heritage, right? right? 
Our people out here, they're going to be celebrating damn New Year's, right? right. They're going to be celebrating New Year's uh, Sunday night. Right. right. They just got finished celebrating Christmas, celebrating Thanksgiving, right? So the Lord sent us out here to wake up our people in these last days because our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? We right? to bring them again unto the Lord. To what? Unto the Lord. We are here to bring our people back unto the Lord, right? Because just like during the time of, of Paul, he said our people were Gentiles, right? And that's the same thing that applies to our people today, right? Our people are in the Gentile state of mind. Right? Right? And we used to be in the Gentile state of mind. Right. Right? What does it mean to be a Gentile, right? When Paul said that the Israelites were Gentiles, that don't mean that they were another nation. That means that they had the same lifestyle as the as the uh, heathens. Right. Like they worship the same God as the heathens. Right? Right? They used to be us before we came into this truth. Right? We used to be out here celebrating Christmas. Right? Celebrating Thanksgiving. Eating all type of abominable foods, right. right? Smoking weed, right? Fornicating, committing adultery. We were in a Gentile state of mind, right. right? But when the Lord gave us this understanding, we came back to the truth and we repented and we started to keep His law, statutes, and commandments. Right. And we had to teach our people that they can do the same thing. In these last days, our people had to separate from their idols and they had to come back to their true nationality. That's right. Read that. And they testified against them, right. but they would not give ear. But they would what? They would not give ear. Right. And that's like most of our people. That's how you know that's talking about our people. Right. Our people do not want to give ear to this truth, right? Right. If we was out here teaching the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, right, how to get rich, and they would sit here and listen all day, right. right? If we was out here with a couple of butts and we was passing around in rotation. And they'll be sitting out here all day. Right. But when we try to give you the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, then our people ain't got time for it. Right? right? Our people only got time to go to the club. Right? They got time to get drunk. Right? They got time to game bang and sell drugs to each other. Right? They got time to down celebrate New Year's and Christmas. But then they got time to hear the truth of the Bible. Right. right? They ain't got time to get this wisdom and this knowledge. Right? Right? You know. But I was in on that.